Hey guys so we are back with another tutorial. And today we will be creating this nice and elegant event poster design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. You can download these project images from the video description. So let's jump right into it. First go to file, and create a new artboard with square dimensions. Then select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Open the gradient panel. Apply a radial gradient to the rectangle. And invert it. Change the black side of the gradient to a grey color. And the white side to a darker color. Note down the RGB codes for these colors. And apply them accordingly in the gradient. Now we will add some dust texture for our background. We will use this background texture for our design. You can download this illustrator file from the video description. Simply open this illustrator file. And copy this texture. Align it to the center of the artboard. Slightly scale it up while holding down the shift key and make sure that its opacity is set to 50%. Now we will add our main subject image here. Drag this model image in Illustrator. You can download these images from the video description. Scale it down according to the artboard. And align it to the center. Slightly adjust its position towards the bottom side. Now we will add a smoke effect for our subject. We will use this smoke image in our design. This smoke effect is created in Photoshop. But you don't need to create it. Download it from the video description. And drag it in Illustrator. Align it to the center. And slightly scale it up like this. Decrease its opacity to 70%. And drag it to a position like this. Now we have a nice smoke effect for our subject. Now we will create a fading effect here for our subject image. Select the Rectangle tool, and create a rectangle at the bottom side. Apply a linear gradient this time. Change both sides of the gradient to the same darker color that we used earlier. Select the Gradient tool, and apply the gradient vertically like this. Now click on this left slider of the gradient and decrease its opacity to zero. Now drag this small slider to adjust the gradient. You can also move this slider to further adjust the gradient. Now we have a nice fading effect for our subject image. Now press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object and lock the selection. Now we can work freely on the artboard without disturbing our subject and the background. Now we will add some headline text here. Select the type tool, and write some headline text. You can write any headline according to your requirement. Note down the font that I am using. Align this text to the center. And change its color to white. Hold down the Alt key. And click and drag to create a copy of this text. Decrease its font size to around 15 pixels. Now edit this copy of the text. And write the main headline.
increase its font size to a larger value. Now we will slightly transform this text. Select the transform tool. Hold down the control key. And drag this anchor point slightly towards right. Now align this text to the center. And adjust its position. Create a copy of this transformed text for later use. Now select the headline. And open the layers panel. Here is our headline layer. Give a proper name to this layer for better understanding. Now create a copy of this headline. Go to edit. Copy. Edit and paste in front. Now again open the layers panel and change the name of this copy that we created. Now select this headline layer and place it behind the subject image. Select this copy layer remove its fill color by clicking on this icon. Now click here to activate the stroke. And apply a dark reddish color to this stroke. And decrease its opacity to 50%. Note down the RGB code for this reddish color. Now we have created a nice effect for our main headline. Now we can adjust this small text. Open the character panel. And set the tracking to a larger value around 700. Slightly adjust its position. And decrease its opacity to 80%. Now edit this transform text that we created earlier and replace it with some other info. Decrease its font size to a suitable value. And place it on a position like this. Select this half text, and change its color to an orange shade. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy. And replace it with some other text. Now we will add some more text here. Select the type tool, and add some other features here. Align it to the center, and change its color to the same orange shade. Place it slightly towards the bottom side. Now create a copy of this text. And replace it accordingly. Change its color to make it more appropriate. Create another copy and add other features as you like. Now we will create a separation between them. Select the line tool. Hold down the shift key. And create a vertical line here. Activate the stroke by clicking here. And apply a white stroke to it. Increase the stroke value to 2. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy. Select both these lines. 
Press Ctrl G to group them and align them to the center. Now adjust the position of these texts. Again select the line tool, and create a horizontal line this time. Apply the same orange color to the stroke. And increase the stroke value to 2. Create a copy of this line. And adjust the position. Select both these lines and change their profile to 1. Now we have some nice and appropriate feature detail. Now we can add some final text at the bottom side. Select the type tool. Set the tracking to 700 from the character panel. And create a text box here. Write some text details about the event. Change its color to white. And decrease the font size according to the text box. Again open the character panel. And increase the leading this time to a suitable value. Adjust the text box and place it properly. Now go to Object and select Unlock All. This will unlock all the layers that we've locked earlier. Now select the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object. And make a clipping mask. And here is the final output. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.